In this video, I'm gonna explain to you how you can use Advantage Plus campaign to test creatives effectively on Meta Ads. Now, before I dive in, I want to put a disclaimer out there. There's many different ways to test and it really depends on average order value, depends on your budget, depends on how many SKUs that you have and the list goes on. So just use this as a guideline. It really again depends on budgets. If you let's say are spending $200,000 a month, you're not going to use this structure to test. This is for businesses that are spending let's say less than $50,000 a month on Facebook ads. And again, even some businesses that spend $50,000 a month, this is gonna be too basic for them. If they do a lot of volume, if they have cheap products, use this as a guideline on how to test. So without further ado, let's get into the video. There's a couple of steps that you need to take before you start executing the tests. First, you need to decide what product or collection you're gonna promote and you're gonna test. Second, you need to do your research. So what content you're gonna use to test. Number three, you need to find what's your average order value and break even ROAS. And number four, you need to build the campaigns and optimize them and do the testing and then scaling. So let's go through the stuff. First, let's say product, you have a jewelry store and you want to promote your necklace collection. So we have necklace collection and excuse my writing, but the most important thing is to get value out of this video, not to like my writing. So let's go. So we have the necklace collection. Then what you need to do is do research of what content works at the moment. And the way you're gonna do it, you're gonna use foreplay. Now we use foreplay to do research on what content works at the moment, what other businesses are using, and basically get ideas on what to test. You're gonna go to foreplay, you're gonna go to discovery, and you're gonna add filters. You want the language to be in English, or again, it really depends on which country you advertise, but I would assume you're gonna be advertising in the States, UK, Canada, Australia, etc. etc. So choose the language, English, choose the platform, and choose the niche. Then you're gonna go to the top right and use the sorting option where it says newest, oldest, and longest running. So you're gonna choose choose longest running because foreplay is going to show you ads that have run the longest and if something is running for let's say six seven eight ten months it means that it's working so you can create something similar and test it with your ads and the way you can find is by clicking on the top right corner of the ad or you can see next to the icon there it says 33 days for example or 100 days but you can click on the icon on the top right of the ad and you'll be able to see a lot of information like how long it's been running, what's the format, what's the landing page, etc. So all of this is very valuable information. And after you've done your research and you've decided what content you're gonna test, you need to find what's your average order value and break even ROAS. Now with average order value, very easy. If you're using Shopify, it's gonna be in your analytics. And I would highly recommend to you to check the average order value for the past 12 months. So let's say your average order value for the past 12 months is $150. And next, we're gonna need to find what's your break even ROAS. And you can find break even ROAS by dividing one by your profit margins, multiplying it by 100. So let's say you have 70% profit margins and this is gonna be about 1.4. So at 1.4, you should be breaking even. And next, we're going into building campaigns. Now, when it comes to building campaigns, this is how I test. Now, every time you create a campaign to test, you need to have a purpose of the test and what you're looking for. So the first type of test we're gonna do is about the content. So we're gonna create six different ads and we're gonna have two single images, two carousels and two videos and we're gonna test them with the same ad copy. So we're gonna have same ad copy for all of these. And here is how we're gonna run the test. So this is why we need your average order value and break even ROAS. Now, if you are on a tight budget, what you can do is leave every single piece of content to spend $150. And after spending $150, if it's not above the break even ROAS, you discontinue it. If it's more than your breaking even ROAS, you can continue to iterate on the creative until you increase it. After you have your winners, so let's say our winners are one, three, and five. So we're gonna cross this over and we're doing a second test, which is gonna be on copy. So for content number one, three, and five, we're gonna have two different, if you want, you can have three different copy variations. But again, if you're on a tight budget, you most likely want two at most. After you've done this test, you can find, for example, content one with copy one is working best. So you move it into a scaling campaign and you scale. 
Same thing goes with this one. Same thing goes with this one. This testing campaign, if it's profitable for you, you should not turn it off, but you should keep running it until it breaks. And your scaling campaign, like obviously you need to have your scaling campaign at all times. But if you're on a low budget, you're probably going to be testing and scaling into the same campaign. That's why in the beginning of the video, I said there's a lot of different things that go into testing, that go into scaling and stuff like that, because depends on how much you're doing per month, depends on how much you're spending, what's your break-even ROAS, what's your average order value, and the list goes on. And with this structure, you can test a lot of different things. Besides content and copy, you can test landing pages, you can test if it's gonna work more, taking people to a collection page, then to a product page, then to a home page, and the list goes on. So again, use this as a guideline. Not every business is the same, so not every strategy works for every business. So again, use this as a general guideline of how you should test. And yeah, hope this was valuable. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.